Hey there folks, Gary Bradley here from Creative Frontiers and in this video I'm going to show you how you can remove cables from your photographs. They're one of those things that you might not even spot when you take the image but they sure can ruin a composition. But with the right tool we can quickly eliminate this. So first off, I would suggest whenever you're doing any of this kind of work, you go to the layers panel and you create a brand new empty layer. So if I hover my cursor over the new layer icon, hold down the Alt or the Option key on the Mac and left click on there, it takes you straight to the new layer dialog box. I'll call that Remove and hit Return. So you put your edits into that layer and keep the edits separate so they're not permanent. We can always go back to the original image if we need to. With that layer active, I then need to pick up a more appropriate view of my artwork. So I'll switch to my zoom tool and then click a couple of times over here to get a nice appropriate view, nice and big, and then spacebar to pan and see that clearly on screen. I'll move my layers panel just down here out of the way now, and then I need to pick the tool of choice. So that will be the spot hidden brush tool. And to get to any one of these tools, you can tap the J key in the keyboard to activate that particular tool and then click and hold down the mouse and you'll see this list of tools in here. Now, the one that we need is going to be the spot hidden brush tool. It will give us the, the best end result in the quickest amount of time. So left click on that to make it active. And then in terms of the brush size, well, if you can see this, but the brush size is really small. That needs to be, I would say, at least 25% bigger than the blemish. So you don't have to be really, really precise dragging this across the screen. I'm going to go to the top to the brush tip menu and then change that to drag the size slider up there to around about 100. I would say it was probably enough in there. So if I hover my cursor over here, yeah, that is, is going to be plenty. You don't want to make it too big because to be honest here, dragging across that cable, it will eliminate the cable as we would intend to. But we're also going to eliminate other pixels that fall into that ring region on screen as well. So. It's a happy medium to start off with. I'll hit the return key. In terms of mode, I'll leave that set to normal. But in terms of what Photoshop does to remove that, Content Aware is going to give you the best results. Um, it will search the image for pixels and colors and content that ought to be appropriate to replace the content that you drag over. So Content Aware is a nice one to use. And of course, because we now have a second layer in the layers panel, you'll need to turn on the checkbox for sample all layers because the one that we will sample from, of course, is called remove and it's completely empty. And with that done, you can then hover your cursor over the image and you can click and hold down the mouse and drag through that blemish. Now, this is quite long in here and I've zoomed in as well, which makes it a little bit difficult more, I would say, to run all the way across the image. But we've got a good view. So you could click and drag manually like this and then let go of the mouse. That will remove the blemish, which is really neat. But actually, if you've got a cable, it'll variably be fairly straight. So you can simply left click at one end of the cable, hover your cursor down to the other end of the cable, hold down the shift key and shift and left click and that paints a straight line. And that will be possibly even quicker. So that's great. Now we have the pole in there. That, that again serves no purpose. So I'll, I'll zoom in there with the, the scroll wheel on the mouse. And then from here, I will just click and drag all the way down that pole and just grab a few of the kind of shrubs around there as well. Let go of the mouse and let Photoshop do its magic. So there you have it, folks. Um, back up to the top, if I choose um, to fit on screen, that's the cable removed from the image. And in the layers panel, because we have the extra layer made in there, you have the pleasure of being able to go to the visibility icon for the remove layer. That was before, and that's after, and that's how you remove cables from an image using the spot healing brush tool in Adobe Photoshop.